What is Bitcoin and how is it different from the normal currency that we use? And how is it different from gold? Coming up next. So Bitcoin is a type of cryptocurrency. And there are many, many cryptocurrencies out there I'm going to share in the next few videos. So Bitcoin is the first ever currency that is digital, meaning it exists online, exists electronically as the first decentralized currency. Meaning that you can transfer it online and also store it online very, very easily just by using a computer. Then how is it different from the current money that you're using that you store in your bank, that you store electronically, that you can go online and check your balance. Bitcoin is not controlled by a centralized bank and your money is controlled by a centralized bank. So what does it mean by it being decentralized? Every single day you're already using something that is decentralized and that is your internet which of course you probably wouldn't be watching this video if you're not using the internet. So the internet if you really think about it, it is not owned by anybody and yet tons of people, companies, people all around the world they put up content, they put up cool stuff, they put up websites which creates the whole entire internet ecosystem and why do people do that? Because it benefits everybody, it benefits themselves. So basically, information is decentralized by the internet. People keep putting stuff on it, adding value to this platform, and yet it is not owned by anybody else. Whereas for your money, it is decentralized by Bitcoin, to put it simply. So that's why some people call it the currency of the internet. Because Bitcoin is not owned by anybody, it's not owned by any bank, any company, any individual, any group, including the creator which is Satoshi, if I pronounce his name correctly. In the year of 2009, he created Bitcoin. And yet people nowadays are still trying to find out his identity. In fact, he might not even be one person, it might be a group of people. We still don't know that. He remains a mystery to a lot of people, including myself. So you really think about it, it's very similar to commodities, such as gold is also not owned by anybody. Nobody controls the supply of gold. The amount of gold is limited, just like Bitcoin. There are only 21 million fixed supply of Bitcoins. Just like gold, there's only a limited supply. Unless you can invent a machine and then create some gold, then please give me some gold. If you can, give me a discount. From so in a way, gold is also decentralized. Then how is it different from Bitcoin? The downside is that it is very hard to transfer gold electronically online. It is very hard to store gold electronically online. It is very hard to also pay somebody with gold online. Money can be transferred digitally but it's not decentralized and then gold is decentralized but it can't be transferred digitally. And probably Satoshi woke up one day then he's like, what if I can make up for these to disadvantageous and create something called Bitcoin. And hence, Bitcoin is born in the year of 2009, which offers the best of both worlds of it being digital and also decentralized at the same time. To put it in summary, what Bitcoin really is, is online money that is not owned by anybody else. Share with me in the comment section down below whether you have traded or invested in Bitcoin or whether you know anybody who has traded or invested in Bitcoin or did anybody around your circle of friends become millionaire or lose their house. Hopefully that doesn't happen to you because I've seen so many people get burned because of following the hype. Remember, never ever blindly follow the hype. The only thing that causes Bitcoin prices to go up is nothing but greed. The value is determined by how much people value it. That's why personally I prefer to stick to something that's a higher probability like stocks and forex. You don't want to gamble the markets. You want to put your hard earned money into something that you can predict that gives you a high probability of winning. If you're going to this just for the greed, don't go into it. You are gambling. In this channel, I don't encourage gambling behaviors. Hopefully this allows you to understand what Bitcoin really is. With that, I'm Karen Fu and I'll talk to you in the next episode. Bye.